Yo, what's up guys, using AE here. Um, I'm out of it today. I mean, I tried to make the, um, the Baker thing, 3D arrow track to the ladder, Ramos OCE thing like you asked, but I just, I made it, but I just can't cover it all because I'm just out of it. I always mess up. So, uh, I'll bring that to you later. And by, by the way, it's complicated, and that's why I didn't do it because I'm out of it. I'm going to bring you a mirror tutorial today. Um, it's pretty simple. It's like my uh it's like flipping it across the axis like the trick that I made a tutorial on ages ago with the rotation. You can change the y rotation to like I think 180 and I'll change it across the y axis. But with this, you can have a select point to flip it over I per se. So, make an adjustment layer and put on mirror. Uh I'm not sure if I ran previewed it for you, but uh, in case I didn't, I'll just ran preview it for you real quick. And in case you haven't noticed already, at the top it's mirrored at like this point right here. So um, you can put it over here and change the reflection angle. Just change around until you like it. Um, I don't really have the reflection angle down to like explain it, so you're gonna have to just mess around with it. It's not that hard to find what you want though. Alright, and then right when he uh right when he scoped in I took it away and then right when he started to unscope I made it the point over here. And it's a nice little way to be creative, I guess. Um I've seen Baker use it a lot, like he actually used it on the uh, Ramos OCA I believe. Either the Ramos or the stamina. I'm not sure, but um that's out of the question. I know that he used it, so uh yeah, it's a pretty good way to be creative. So uh, I'm gonna delete this and kind of lead you through making it. You can sync it to the beats um, by making it like pop up, and then the next beat it goes away. Um, my friend Odin has done that, and it looked fucking sick. So you wanna go distort mirror, make an adjustment layer, bring it on. And for what I did, I made the point. Say about here. Oh, actually, I'm gonna drag this over here. Uh, actually, to be more precise, bring this over here and then change the reflection angle to 270. So now we have this. But if you change it to like 180, look what we get. We get that because it's not reflecting at the proper angle. If you get 90, we only have this. Asian good. Zero, you don't have anything. So 270 is the perfect thing to use. So yeah, let's keyframe these. Um, keyframe them both. Start, and I'm gonna make them change right. Actually, I'm gonna keyframe them right here. Go four to frame, and make the zero. So we're gonna keep going until he takes the shot. So right here, I'm gonna keyframe him again just in case. Actually, yeah, I should. you have to keyframe him here, right? When he's still scoped in, when he's unscoped, I'm going to change the reflection center to about here. And then, yeah, it's you don't even need to change the numbers as long if you have them at zero because uh, actually I'll bring it a little more out. There we go. So now when he's unscoping, it's over here. Dare lock a lot if you know what I'm I'm reading the gamer tag first blood. So <clears throat> yeah, um that's the basics of making it. Um really, really simple. You can also like let's say there I'm gonna pretend like there are beats. Let's say there's a beat every 20, 30 frames. That should be enough. So let's take the mirror on right now. Have keyframe on. 30 frames forward. Actually, I'll go back one frame so I can do that. And then bring it back to zero. Awesome. 
Oh crap, I messed up. I went for 10 frames instead of 1. Bring this back to 0. Now, go for 30 frames. Back a frame 2. And, um, what we're gonna want to do, actually. Oh. Ah. Keyframe in both a frame before what you want to do, or the next beat. Go forward from there, and then I'm going to change the reflection center to the bottom. And then I'm going to go, I think, let's see how 270 looks. Nope. 90. Yep. It doesn't look too good, though, because it gun pretty much disappears, but whatever. Go frame forward. Actually, we don't even need to make these keyframes, because we're going to make keyframes here. So, uh, what you want to do is you want to go 30 frames forward and uh, go back a frame and then keyframe and then move forward another frame and then you can adjust it from there. So I'm going to bring it out to the side and that doesn't look good at all so I'm going to change it to zero. Forward 30 frame, move back one frame. E frame and then just bring this this out get out All right so now um, that was real quick and brief but what it'll look like is this and you can add uh, scale palms and maybe twixer to exaggerate it but it looks really sick um like trust me it looks really 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 sick and that is pretty much the tutorial for the day. Sorry, I couldn't get into any more complex stuff. I'm incredibly tired. I have no idea why. So, um, <clears throat> be expecting the uh, Baker Arrow tutorial thing soon. Um, should be pretty cool. Uh, yeah. And uh, this has been using AE. If you want to play with me on Xbox, I'm not on my BCT account anymore. I'm on using AE. No spaces like my YouTube channel. So, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry if you thought it was lame. I mean, I kind of thought that it was pretty lame. But you can do some really, really, really cool stuff with it. Um, that is not lame. So, uh, if you don't believe me, go uh, look at... Uh, I forgot the name. Never mind. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's been using AE, and I'm out. Peace.